Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight to recap my second game here. Uh, it's not a, The game hasn't officially ended yet, but it's pretty much over. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks beat the Denver Nuggets. They're up by like 20 right now. The final score... Eh, I'll talk about when it, when it was final, but Nikola Jokic had 29 points, 8 assists, uh, 12 rebounds. Uh, by far the Nuggets' best player tonight. Uh, nobody else really showed up. Uh, for this uh, team tonight for uh, Denver. It was mostly on Nikola Jokic. 29 points, 8 assists, 12 rebounds. The Bucks blowing out nu the Nuggets is big. I thought uh, Giannis and Jokic both delivered tonight. It's just the, team the teammates for Nikola Jokic didn't show up tonight. While Giannis, as I thought, did. And Giannis was, was uh, great. Giannis and Jokic were both great. I know people be like, oh, just because he won means he's better. Baseball is a team game. I hate when people don't do these individual, individual matchups. Both play good, but one player has more points. They're like, oh, yeah, he outplayed him tonight. I mean, yeah, he outplayed him. 36 points, 18 rebounds, 5 assists, and a blowout win. But that doesn't discredit, Yo discredit Jokic. I mean... Come on. But Jokic, uh, 29, 8, and 12. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., 11 points, 4 assists, 6 rebounds, 3 of 11. Uh, Jamal Murray, 3 points, 2 rebounds, uh, 4 of 5. And Jamal Murray had a tibia inflammation and KCP right hamstring tightness. I don't think they returned uh, to this game, but Jamal Murray, seven, uh, 17 minutes, had 3 points, 1 of 5. Uh, MP, Michael Porter Jr., uh, 3 of 11. So, Jamal Murray and uh, Michael Porter Jr. were awful in this game. Um, KCP, 9 minutes, had 1.2 assists, 2 rebounds. He was 0 of 3 in the minutes he played. Peyton Watson, 5 points, 4 rebounds, 2 of 6. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, something, Christian Brown, uh, 2 of 6. Like Peyton Watson, Christian Brown, some of the role players didn't shoot well. Outside of Jokic, I felt like nobody shot well. Reggie Jackson, 7 points. 3 of 7, Aaron Gordon, 14.7 rebounds, 6 of 11. I thought Jokic and Gordon were the two most efficient players out there for him tonight. Uh, Gillespie, 6 points. Uh, the final score is 112-95, by the way. Game just finally went final. As for Giannis, 36 points, 5 assists, 17 rebounds, 14 of 19 from the floor. He, was, he looked much more uh, dominant tonight compared to the last two games where he only had 17 points and 15 points. Didn't really take many shot attempts. He took more of this game and just looked more dominant, more dominant on the glass tonight. Just much more assertive was Giannis. And he had 35, 16, and 4 in three quarters. He had three steals as well, two blocks. Only played 30 minutes and got the blowout victory. And he also had a nice crossover on Giannis. So Giannis was great. Um, uh, Damian Lillard, 18 points, 5 assists, 3 rebounds, uh, 6 of 15. Bobby Portis, 13 points, 3 assists, 8 rebounds. Uh, AJ Green, 9 points. Beverly, 5 points, 4 assists. Connington, 5 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds. This was probably the best game they played all year uh, for Milwaukee. They shot 50% from the field, 47 from 3. Uh, Out-rebounding them by 3. Um... Uh, about nearly the same in turnovers and points, so really the difference was they shot the ball well. Much better than Denver with 38% and then 27% from three. This the base the Bucks have really shot all year. 50% from the four and 47 from three. Probably the most uh most uh, fundamentally uh best fundamental basketball they've played really all year. And that's what you call defense. Two games in a row you've held an opponent under hundred. Their defense is starting to play better. Maybe that Pat Bad movie was bigger than we thought, because he, he's a, a good defensive player. And just the, the Nuggets can never really into a rhythm after that first quarter. 28-23, and then Milwaukee really blew them out second and third quarters. The Nuggets offense just never really got into a rhythm until gar that fourth quarter in garbage time. Like they had 23, 21, and then 19 points. Their offense got worse each quarter. I still think they're a good team. Uh... They dropped the 36 and 18 here. The Bucks to 39 and 15. It's probably the best game the Bucks have played all season. 
They just had no answer to stop Giannis. And Jokic showed up, but the te his teammates really didn't. And for the Bucks, it was really Giannis carrying carrying the load tonight with Lillard and Portis in double digits, and then you had contributions really all up everywhere else. With Brook Lopez nine points, five rebounds, three assists. So yeah, Bucks win 115, 112 to 95. Um, and a blowout victory, impressive. Um, so that's really all to say here. Uh, just a lot of open looks for the Nuggets just didn't go. So we'll see. We'll see what the Nuggets do, can do after the All Star break. I feel like they'll start playing better for the All Star break, but we'll see. So that's really all to say here. Um, for my second game now, I'll recap the Warriors game when that ends against the Jazz tonight. So yeah, until next time, my luck. Peace.